Welcome back to Crafts and Coffee with Chris and Kel. I'm Kel, and today I have an unbagging. Me, 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 an unbagging. I think that's better. Anyway, you guys, okay, so this is our first unbagging from GBFKE. Now, I did a reverse Google search on these images. And I didn't see anything that raised an alarm, so I hope these images are okay. If they're not, please educate me. Don't rip me a new one. I will not work on them on the channel or post post reviews on the channel if they are not legit. So please forgive me. Whenever I do a post review or a unboxing, unbagging, I like to use Diamond Painting Guide and Logbook from Jennifer Roberts. And I will post the link below if you'd like to get your own. She has her own YouTube page as well, or not YouTube page, YouTube channel called DP Addiction Adventures. So let's get into this. And what I have is my beautiful Crafts and Coffee with Chris and Kel. Melly Machete. Let's see if I could do this without cutting one of my fingers off. Bam! That's called an action shot, people. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, so I have a post-it over my address so you cannot see where to stalk me. Just kidding. Ooh. Put it in the frame here so you guys Always cut away from yourself, just a, just a little tip. All right, so this is how these come. They had a buy three, buy three, get one free deal at the time. So I paid for three and got four. So. And these are actually, I mean, I can feel the bubble bubble wrap inside, so these feel pretty well packaged. Let's get rid of the bag. All right, let's start with the little one first. So I placed the order on the fifth of the month. I'll move these. On the 5th of the month, I placed the order. They were shipped two days later and got here on the 30th. So expect a month, a month wait. They came from China, so that's why you have to wait. These are in here pretty tightly. These are most likely gonna be double-sided adhesive, not poured glue. Sweet. Oh, well, they have a clear cover. Okay, I know what this one is called. This one is called Enthusiastic Sunflower. I do love sunflowers. They are my favorite flower. They're just so bright and happy. And this is a 50 by 40. Let me run and get my tape measure. Here, I have a little cute little tape measure. I usually don't, you know, measure other canvases, but with these, you kind of never know. Sometimes when they're giving you the measurement, it's the whole canvas size and not the drill field. So I just want to do my due diligence. Can you see that? Here, I'll go up a little further. This is about half a centimeter shy of 45. So yeah, it looks like the whole canvas is a 50. So you're not getting a 50 by 40 drill field, you're getting a 50 by 40 canvas. And of course the same going this way. Yeah, it's just short of 40. So it's not the drill field but it is what it is. 
And of course you can see the colors that this is gonna be, you know, a lot of uh, maroons, reds, yellow, orange. Um, there are 29 colors with this and I'm thinking I could use some sparklers in the lightest parts of the flower. And call me crazy, but all of these kits today are squares. And looking, working on the glare. These actually look really, really good. And squares are my favorite. A little dimpling in the back, but not much. All right, I'll wait to order, or I will wait to open the colors on another canvas that's more colorful. But with this, you get the pink pen, pink wax, actually a straightener, and then the green boat. So no multi-placers with this one. All right, one down, three to go. Let's do one of these. When you're purchasing canvases, do you think about what you're gonna do with them, where you're gonna hang them? Most of the time I do, but I figure, I'll figure it out. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's a bag in a bag. Okay. Oh, because it hangs out a little further. That's what they did. I don't mind extra padding. Okay. All right. Well, I could see a difference already. These are pre-bagged. Let's look at the quality. Ooh. Big bag of 310. I love squares. What about you guys? Okay, so this is a little different. We have the sparkly pen, a squishy, a multi-placer that looks like a three multi-placer. Uh, some metal tweezers, interesting. And a white boat with a big, oh, and a bigger multi-placer. There's not a number on it, it might be a seven. I could be wrong. I've been using the seven placer a lot. So I'm comfortable with that. Ooh, you can already see, oh, this is wrapped. Okay, get my. Again, this is a 50 by 40. This is called Cat Animal. The names can be kind of funny on some of these websites. Yeah, type in cat animal and GBFKE and quite a few come up. But I really like this style. Oh, okay. So you see how this has an opaque cover and not a clear cover. So this is probably double-sided adhesive and not poured glue. And you know, unrolling it, I smell the glue. Oh, and they give you a little foam roller. I'm not mad at that. Now with this, you don't want to roll it backwards. You may damage the glue. So I'm struggling a little bit here, you guys. Okay. This is what it's gonna look like. Oops, where's the camera? It's like two cats with a bunch of flowers. Pretty background. So what I do when I unbox these is I actually lay them flat on my desk um, and they accumulate. So there's weight on them over time and they just flatten out. Something that helps is by pulling this back 
it just automatically flattens it out faster. And the, what you want to be careful of when you're pulling this back for the first time is that you're not taking the glue with it. So as long as the double-sided tape is staying down, you can go ahead and pull up. And this is sectioned off and, oh, they glued, or they taped it right there. Wonder why. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna pull this one back first because this one overlays that one. Make sure I'm still on camera here. So when you pull it up from the corner, just make sure you're not taking the tape back with it. And I'm gonna pull this all the way off because I will replace this with parchment. Uh-oh, don't do that. With, uh, what do you call them? You know, the squares. The, that term lost me. Okay. It's automatically laying flatter, you guys. Automatically. Sorry for saying you guys. I mean everybody. Everybody. I'm a crazy cat lady. If you didn't already know, I've had six cats at one point. And then, you know, things happen. Look at this. I love this style of art. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm really looking forward to this one. Okay. So the downside, if you will, is that the keys, I mean, are on the lower left and upper right. But, you know, when you read, actually, oh, the symbols stay like that. So if you work on it like this, you're reading it properly. Oh man, no, no, hello, Cal, wake up. Okay, here we go. You, I'll be working on it like this, especially because a, you know, the letters read properly this way, but two, my drafting table works better wide than tall, you know, or high. So there you go, 33 colors already bagged up square let's measure this even though i'm sure the canvas size is going to be the 40 by 50. oops it's always a show whoa okay hold up yeah centimeters okay so this is, okay, let me go back here. All right, so it's half a centimeter short in the height. So it's showing like 35 wide the drill field. And then, am I in camera? A little more than half short that way. So. It is what it is. I'm really looking forward to working on this one. I'm just gonna move it and lay it flat over here. And I will cover that with my squares. I can't think of the word. Don't you hate that? It's so frustrating. Okay, on to the next. We have two more. Um, let's see. Let's do this one since I grabbed it. Oh, this is just like that last one. It's double, double bagged, which is fine with me. Means it has extra protection. Okay, these are, these are pre-bagged as well. Love. Ooh, I think I know which one this is. Okay, you get a white boat, two wax, two pink wax, a pen with a squishy, a three multi-placer, and again, I think that's a seven. 
and tweezers. Nice. Oh, okay. It, this isn't the one I thought it was, but here's the little, his hearts. Gotta spread the love, right? All right, I guess I am going to just find a place. Again, they tape the, I don't always like it when they do that. I don't know why they have to do that, but whatever. So we have an opaque cover again. So double-sided tape. And when you open these, you smell it. I mean, you smell it. So it is what it is. Hopefully it's not super strong when I'm working on it. Again, a 40 by 50. And is this one piece? Make sure you're not pulling up the double-sided tape when you start removing this, like I said earlier. Oh, it is two pieces, okay. Don't want it to stick like it did last time. I thought this one would be really cute to do around Valentine's Day. Whoa. And then pulling up the second. I don't like how they take that, but. There we go. I guess I wasn't really looking at the symbols before. I guess I better do that. Um, hopefully you can see that pretty clearly. They look good to me. I mean, the P is dark gray with the black P, so that's not the best you know, light colored letters or symbols with darker backgrounds is preferred. Even this A is a dark gray with a black A, so not my fave, but it'll do. And I guess this way is the way that it looks very clear. I think it looks really good. I don't know if I'll do anything extra to this. Um, I think it's gonna look great. There's 33 colors and it's supposed to be a 40 by 50, so. Again, it's like one and a half centimeter, or not a whole centimeter, but yeah, it's not quite, yeah, it's like one-tenth of a centimeter shorter than it should be. And you know, I kind of expect that with these companies, so I'm not mad at it. Let me move this and lay it flat. Actually, I put that on the stove. Okay, last one. Thank you for sticking with me through all this. Um, you know, every time I do this, it's a learning experience for sure. So I appreciate your patience. And if you ever have any tips or tricks, please, please don't hesitate because I want to learn and grow and get better. Okay, so something sticky's going on there. Not a big fan. 
but it's wrapped in plastic. This is the one I'm gonna open the drills for. This is the one I'm most excited about out of these four. So here we have the white boat, two large squares of wax, a large, uh, I wanna say that's a seven again, a three multi-placer pen, squishy, and metal tweezers. This one is beautiful. It was more, it was just the colors that grabbed me. And I just, I think this is so beautiful. It's called Sea Scenery. And the previous one with the hearts is called Love, just so you know. And I will link all of these below. So if you want to snag them yourself. All right, you guys, look at this. I just think that is such a beautiful scene with the sunrise or sunset. I didn't even show you guys the colors from the heart one. Well, I just don't want you to have to suffer through a long video, I guess. They do give a, another foam roller, which are great to save and put around your drafting table. If you need something soft and smooth, um, so any large canvases hanging over the edge, don't get a hard edge, you know, crease or something. You can always put those uh, around your drafting table or pool noodles, you know, but. So again, um, double-sided adhesive. This is in two pieces. And let's go for it. There is some possible issues there. And the post review will tell you more about the quality of the canvas, you know, and, and the drills too. Let me see if this is going to cooperate. Yes. So again, it's kind of printed with the symbols and letters sideways. I mean, sideways than the canvas itself yeah so and you could smell smell the tape all right so that's how it's gonna look after I mean that's how it's gonna sit and let's look at I mean it looks it looks very very clear I'm very happy with the clarity the symbol clarity of these I've gotten canvases that I could not do without a light pad and these don't seem to be the case even though I do use the light pad as a general rule now but not in the beginning there's 32 colors Let's look at it. So the X is pretty dark with a dark X or a black X. Look at the five. The five should be white. Oh my gosh, look at the P. Even that plus sign with the dark blue should be white. Oh my gosh. The U-turn sign, the A. Like all of those that I just mentioned should be in white. The white letters or symbols. The rest look okay. And as far as, I'm looking to see if there looks to be any issues with the adhesive. And it, I mean, it looks really good. I'm not seeing any rivers or bubbles. It looks awesome. So I'm gonna lay this flat over here. 
and then we're going to look at the drills for this one. If you like looking at drills, this will be for you. Be careful when you're uh, pouring these out too, if there's a bag that's not closed all the way. Yeah, that could be a problem. Lots of blues. I'm not gonna put them in order with you. I don't wanna take that time away from you. Um, just making sure these are, but let's look at, got a straggler there. The nine, oh, where are we? Nine, three, nine. These look awesome. Like the trash I've seen lately and the dark colors has not been good. <laughs> These look beautiful. And when you get a lot of trash, it, you know, it makes it not as fun and you kind of dread working on that color. A little straggler there, but th this makes me excited. When I see squares, especially squares, round drills are usually pretty good. These just look so clean. A couple dimples on the bottom here and there, but nothing like concaved. Oh my gosh. Beauty. Oh, can't get enough. This scenic, it's called Sea Scenery 550. Love 550. Um, I am, though, I'm sensing there's going to be some static in these. As a habit, I always put a little piece of dryer sheet in with my kitting up process. Just a habit. Like, even if it doesn't need it, I want it. You know, it smells great. And I just want to avoid any problems when I'm working on a kit. I want to avoid any issues that may come up. This might be one of my favorite colors. All right, and then some of these just have a tiny, tiny bit. Browns. Still in the frame there, purple. Those are beautiful. All right, so there you have it. So all the links will be below and if you see something that is lice is supposed to be licensed and isn't, um, please let me know. I'm still learning. I know how important it is for artists to get the credit they deserve. And I don't want to reward companies that do have stolen artwork. So um, there you go. So going over the the amounts for these really quick, um, the enthusiastic sun, all of these kits were 9.99 euro. And then they had the buy three, get one free. And then they tr did charge shipping of 6.99 euro. So the total in euro was 36.96. And that train, trained, that translated to 46.25 US. So for four kits, 46.25. So please leave your comments below and thank you so much for watching the whole video. I really appreciate each and every one of you and we do appreciate your time. Thank you so much crafters. Bye everyone.